told me that Tramengine was very excited. He was wearing a brand new bell that shone like gold. He was off to the seaside. His driver was explaining everything as they puffed along the line. There's a seaside village near here, and every year they have a big parade with a special attraction for the visitors. This year, Toby, you're the special attraction. Thank you, sir, said Toby. But what does a special attraction do? Oh, just smiles and blows whistles at everyone, replied his driver. We're almost there. Listen, you can hear the seagulls. Soon, they reached the little station by the village. But instead of a big welcome, there was just one man. He whispered to Toby's driver and turned sadly away. Well, if that doesn't take the biscuit, said Toby's driver, they've run out of room in the parade and don't need a special attraction after all. We got to go home, Toby. I'm sorry, old boy. So am I, sighed Toby. Percy was shouting in the yard. He didn't expect to see Toby. What are you doing back so soon? Before Toby could reply, the fat controller arrived. Leave these trucks please, Percy. There's an emergency at the harbor. Come on, Percy, said his driver. There'll be trouble with Bolstrud. Who's Bolstrud? wondered Percy. He was still surprised about Toby, and now he had two puzzles to sort out. His driver explained. Bolstrud is a disagreeable bard. He never stopped complaining. His driver was right about Bolstrud. Today, the bard was more bad temper than ever. Come on, come on. Why aren't you trucks where you should be? There's no engine and we can only go where we put, shouted the trucks. You're in the wrong place, not us. When Percy arrived, Bolstrud was sulking and the trucks were crosser still. Our stone is for Bilstrud. Please put us in a siding so that we can load him up and be rid of him. But the trucks were being careless. As Percy was lining them up, they burst through some buffers. They wailed, but it was too late. Oosh! cried Billstrud. I am sinking. Serves you right, giggled the trucks. You are always barging in and moaning. It took a very long time to clear the mess. Percy watches Bolstrud was towed to the beach. There you are, said the workman. Now you just stay here. Children can play with you all day, and at long last you'll be useful. When Percy got home, he and Toby exchanged all their news. Well, we both had seaside surprises today, laughed Toby. But driver says that I'm a special attraction anyway, and so are you. Every time we go on our own line. What do you mean? asked Percy. Well, all we have to do is smile and blow whistles at everyone.